Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. There is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He'll try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introduce the first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 172 pounds. Fighting from Sydney, New South Wales, Australia, Pantera. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch gloves. So two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. That was snuck in. Nice strike. Take him down. Nice kick. Oh, 
collar tie. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Let's work, guys. Just out of range with that right hand. Under three minutes remain in round one. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Just missed with that right hand. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Circling to his right. Nice leg kick lands. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. This fight goes into the latter round. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Seconds to go in round one. Straight punch lands. Final seconds here of round one. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. Five minutes in the books. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round. We see a lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase the victory. Kick. 
He's looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. What a punch. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Big kick lands. Looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you just one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time his opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great timing. That's a good punch, Lance. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Oh, big uppercut there. Didn't get the knockdown, but that is a significant strike. A very significant strike. And now his opponent may start to drop the hands to block the uppercut. So look for him to throw something else now up top. Try to establish that jab. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Nice. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. They continue to exchange. Slips the punch. Inside leg kick. Oh, big head kick there. Some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh! Head kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, he heard a bat with a jab. Big head kick lands. The single collar tie. And they separate. Oh, the this fight's gonna be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay in the corner. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Two rounds in the books. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round.
You ready to fight? Ready. Third Turn. round underway. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice stupid punch. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh, spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Blocks that strike. Oh, big head kick land. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. That comes with him throwing that kick. Hey, set him up. Set him up. There it is. Just misses there with the left. Nice punch lands over the top. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Oh, oh, big nice knee. Man. Oh! <laughs> Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. hip over when he throws that kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Unable to connect with the right hook. Let those hands go. Oh, big head kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Strong defense there to block the shot. Punch over the top. 60 more oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Rips the body there. Huge connection playing there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Dude, what a punch. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. 
And he continues to work on the inside of that lead leg. Right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to log the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice punch hit. Just misses with the straight left hand. Beautiful straight counter. Nice kick. Is right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. It's such a fast leg kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big head kick lands. Body kick right the Watch knees to the body. Hit him first. Ooh, big shot lands. Separation now. Nice head kick. Two minutes to go in the round. Circling to his right. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Not there. Nice body kick. He might have landed there. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, he dove and he lands. Wow. News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, 
really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bono. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Oh, tag him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. 15 seconds to go. Lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there, now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, Unbelievable striking. Five minutes to victory. Keep doing what you're doing. Remember those sprint drills we did in the gym? This is exactly why. I want you to go out there with us. You ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Right. Lands the right hand. Hey, there is he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad in his head. Now we have to find one more strike to end the night. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Get him chopping the wood. Chop the wood. His head still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. Get out of there. Left hand. Powerful. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Beautiful leg kick throw. Slip that offering from his opponent in the past we've seen. Him. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Big kick lands. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. What a tricky head kick. Just out of range with that left hook. Big punch lands through the middle. And that one was heavy. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Punches right. Strike. Work, guys, come on. 
His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. One minute to go in the fight. Big head kick land. Body now. A big left hook coming in blocks. Big kick. Like the score. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh, straight right. Out of range with that one. Final seconds of the fight. What else can you say but what a fight? The official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50 45. Play the winner by unanimous decision. All right, nice job by him there, as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance, and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you got to go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting your hand raised. He did exactly that tonight, and he gets a dominant decision.